gonna tell you something straight off the top. I still have the bandana that you gave me, says lights, still, and this has got to be over probably about, what, 20 years ago? I've been making bandanas for a while and I love that you still have that. Do you wear it? No, I've got it with my collection, my sort of music collection. How have you been doing? So good and that, nothing makes me happier to hear that you've kept that. Oh, you know what? You're such a special person, special artist. We got special artists here tonight and we're in the home of Gordon Lightfoot, Massey Hall. How's it feel being here with the uh, Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame? It is a huge honor to be being here. I I'm actually doing a song for Sarah, Sarah's induction. Um, I've um, been a huge fan for a long time. I feel like there's like this buzz of Canadian music tonight. It feels really special to be a Canadian musician. I'm very excited. What's going on with the rest of you for uh, 2024 going to 2025? I actually just put out a song yesterday. I have new music on the way and the new song's called Damage. It's like kind of new wavy, dark wavy. I'm so excited about it. So definitely check it out. Cannot wait. Gotta let you go because I know you got more things to do, but always love and I hope we get a chance to talk soon. It's great to see your face. It is so great to see you. But more importantly, what did we say in the last, can we say three years? Yeah. Your career has just exploded. You've become, and I can say this now, an icon here in Canada for Canadian music, man. And, you know, winning awards as a songwriter must be really special for you to be here at the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame, especially here at Massey Hall. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's wild. Like you said, like three years ago, like I was just... Yeah, I think we met at the Lemon Stage, you know yeah, what I mean? And, and, you know, uh, and then very quickly, you know Lemon Stage is doing a big show tonight as we speak. I saw I saw that. I saw like cross country, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah my friend Isla's playing it too. Um, you know, it's, it's been crazy, like three years, like I wouldn't have thought I'd be in this place. I wouldn't have thought, like I'd know a lot of the people, you know. I, I played with Sarah McLaughlin a few months ago. You know, we played right before at Sam and I and Roots and Blues, you know. I, uh, a lot of the people here like Sam Roberts and 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 you know yeah it's just wild to, the, to, to call these people my peers now so you know it's an honor to be here just to, to, to pay my respects to all of them and all the hard work they've done so well, what's going on with the rest of 2024 going into 2025 what's going on musically uh, just wrapping up a new album can you give us a little taste what we can expect and when do you think we're gonna be hearing this new album new album next year Next year. Yeah. I can tell, man, you, you're, you're playing like I ain't going to give too much out on this. <laughs> no, I, I can't leak myself too much, even though I did. But uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. So That's okay, brother. Look, I'll let you go. I want you to have a great time tonight. All the best for the rest of leading into the holidays. And we got to do an interview on this new album, man. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Love you, brother. Love you. Last time that you and I saw each other, you were here in Toronto. You were helping to give instruments to kids. This was a long time ago for schools. And one of the other last interviews we ever really did in person, Lilith Fair. It was raining here in Toronto. When you think about all these iconic moments, this has to be another one, especially with the class you're in. How does it feel being inducted into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame in Gordon Lightfoot's house? Well, it's a huge honor to be included in these great halls with these amazing fellow artists. Uh, I'm a very proud Canadian and this is a really big honor for me. I feel like songwriting is often a very lonely, isolating kind of thing to do and to be able to come up here and sing for everybody and hear my songs performed by some of my favorite artists. Uh, that's a real thrill and honor for me. So I'm, I'm so jazzed to be here. Congratulations. Have a great time tonight. Thank you.